Well, Mercedes Monet did not show up at World's End tonight, so I guess anything's possible, right? I don't think she's showing up at Hard to Kill, but I guess anything is possible. There's reports here and there. Who knows what the hell's real and what the hell's fake, though? You know what I mean? I, I kind of had to laugh that I came across uh, someone sent me this the other day where a Fightful Select had to come out and, and report that there's been a misconception as Scott Namore wasn't trying to suggest it was the biggest signing in TNA history, especially considering the names that have signed in the past. Um, however, he did say it would be a big signing. I had to laugh that, you know, Scott and Impact, and yes, it's still fucking Impact. So for those of you who don't like that I call it that, uh, when they stop playing We on the Night and all this shit like that, and, and they rebrand as TNA, they will be a TNA. So you can't have it both ways, all right? Can't do Impact things and expect me to call it TNA. So it is Impact. Anyway, <laughs> now that I'm off my soapbox a little bit. Um, the fan base is clearly very excited about who could show up it's at hard to kill the current free agent crop out there does not suggest that it is at the end of the day one of the biggest signings in tna history there i mean there are a couple people who could fall into this category but the the majority of them i don't think are are coming i don't think it's one of them I am very concerned that this is a classic case of overpromise under deliver, which is the exact wrong thing that you do. Uh, I've I've kind of accused Impact in the past of overpromising. It hasn't been that bad recently, you know, probably in the last year or so. But there are some times where, and I'm not even talking about the Dixie Dixie Carter era, but just all oh, this. You know, this is gonna be one of the best pay per views you ever seen. Just wait, you know, and and we get nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nothing more than like a standard. It's good, good and solid, but we never get. You know, sometimes we don't get something out of the norm, and um, they have kind of teased it like we were going to. So, uh, that being said, I am a little concerned that they are over promising here, and when you have to reach out to Fightful Select <laughs> to to cool the fan base down um that oh, oh it, it, I, you know it, don't get too crazy it's not the big it, not the, it's not the biggest signing but it's going to be a big one i think that's a little concerning what stood out to me is that what scott had actually said was you know he was saying um i'm paraphrasing a little but he said uh you know it's one of i think the biggest signings he didn't say it's one of the biggest signings. Like if freaking Walmart or Target comes to you and say, I, you know, I, I think this is one of the biggest sales we've ever had. That holds a different weight than if someone, if they come to us and say, it's one of the biggest sales we've ever had. Right. So he didn't put that emphasis on it for me. So while I think people are were really, really expecting some kind of huge name, I was like, I, I don't know. I don't think he would have put the, you know, the think word in there if if this was as big as people were expecting it to be. Um, but given the current landscape of impact, I could see it being a very, very big deal. Okay. It's just that he, I think he made the mistake of saying, you know, it's the biggest since, what do you say, Christian Cage or Sting or Kurt Angle. Like, those, those are some pretty big shoes to fill. Because even if it's Nick Nemeth, he's nowhere near those guys. But he wouldn't be wrong if he was saying it's one of the biggest signings since those guys. He wouldn't be wrong at all. That'd be very, very true. But where this sign signing really needs to hit is is... I've said many times that that impact will take the next step when they get the next Kurt Angle. And I don't mean someone as good as Kurt Angle, but I just mean someone who chooses them. Now, obviously that's going to be difficult because in the past there was not another option. You either went to TNA or you did nothing. 
sat at home and played with your dick or, you know, went to the Indies, which were not that hot at the time. But it still stands. Someone needs to choose them. Not settle for them. Choose them. Even Trinity, I can't say chose them, even though she may word it that way. I I would imagine AEW had no interest. So what they really do need, if, if it is Nick Nemeth, and he chooses to be a part of the new TNA, not... You know, I, I was hope wait, you know, holding out for an AEW contract. They didn't offer me one. So hey, here I am. Hey, like the good brothers. That if 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 it's that, actually, I don't know exactly what I said. I got myself confused there. If it is a situation like that where AEW didn't give him the contract, so here we are, that's gonna be a problem. If it is I chose to come here, then we're talking big news. So if it is a Nick Nemeth, it is, um, fuck, Shelton Benjamin. <laughs> you know, like, there, there's a couple other names out there that he wouldn't be wrong. It'd be one of the biggest signings because it'd be one of the biggest deals because, again, they would choose to be a part of this. And that's what I think is going to be really important with this new era. I've mentioned a couple times in the past that some of the magic of early TNA was that the roster wanted to prove something. They wanted to be a part of they wanted to be a part of something new and something big. And you saw that with like early AEW, right? And now it's you know, regressed a little to to what, you know, a lot of the mistakes TNA did or, you know, WCW or or whatever, you know. But at the beginning, if, you know, because this is more recent history I'm talking about with AEW. The beginning was, hey, a bunch of people with a chip on their shoulder who wanted to prove the wrestling world wrong or uh, just be the part of something cool and hot. Cool and hot, yeah. <laughs> Those words contradict themselves, but you understand what I'm saying. They uh, they have the same meaning in this context. That's what re- what we need with this new TNA. We don't need. Let's go get Heath. Let's go get Big Con. Let's go get Dango, and you know some of these guys where their gimmick is really similar to what they were doing before. They're not reinventing themselves. Those are guys who were just looking to get booked. And we don't want that. That's what like MLW brings in guys. They're just they're just there to get booked, you know. They sometimes NWA brings in some bigger names. They're just there for a booking, but they're not there to be a part of the future and be a part of a new vision. And that's really what we need. So if it is a Nick Nemeth. And and he is there because he believes in the vision of what TNA is going to do. Then it is huge. It is one of the biggest signings since those guys. But if it's someone who's just there because he couldn't get another contract and Impact offered him money, good money, then it's a bigger name, but it's the same overall impact as signing a Heath. You feel me on that? So... Um, he did have to backpedal a little bit because people were getting uh, excited because this is the biggest talking point in the heart of kill. Like we are expecting uh, some, some new people, some returning people, whatever, but we're expecting one singular person to be the talking point at the end of the show. And it's going to be really exciting to see who it is. As we get closer, I'm going to give you my, Predictions. I'm trying to gather a little more data, if you will, before I jump into things. I know most podcasters and YouTubers are, you know, the minute the news comes out, they're going to talk about it. I've been sitting on things a little bit more lately because I'm not really concerned about the, the initial pop in numbers on here. I've been trying to sit on things a little bit, gather a little more information, gather some facts, and then and then give you my thoughts. So um, 
I'm compiling a few names that I, I think it could be, and, and there are a couple that no one has mentioned. I'll tell you that right now. I've got a couple that no one has mentioned. But it is concerning at the end of the day that Scott clearly, Impact clearly had to reach out to Fightful Select to to cool the fan base off. <laughs> that's, I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think that's a, a good look. Um, hey, it's 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 not going to be you know the biggest, but it's 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 going to be a big deal. You know, again, are we over promising under under delivering? We're going to see. 